Hello friends, this is Kalpesh Satarsya. Today we are going to learn about communicating or data sharing between components with observable and subject in Angular. So let's check example and I will explain one by one. I have created one Angular application and I have implemented that functionality. So let's first check the output and then we can see the code. So here we have two buttons send data and clear data. Here we have the two components one home component and the app component. So in the app component I have two buttons and in the app components I have printed the whatever data received from the uh, home component and display on the app component. So let's click on the send data. So if you see when I click it data print on the app component you can see that message send data from home component to app component if I click it again you can see it okay once I click on the clear data it's clear the message so that means it's communicating with the two components okay we that send the data from home component and display in the app component now let's check the code how it works we have the title of this video is observable and subject so where it comes the pictures observable and subjects so let me explain this data sharing services i have created one data sharing services and i have injectable it provided in root so we don't have to be inject or include on the app.module i have created one variable it's called a subject and that subject as any object of any and we have the three methods send data clear data and get data send data is something when we want to send data from one component then time it's call it and you can see the subject dot next and whatever we data pass it we get as a text clear data is something we need to clear a subject and get data is something whatever we in a subject we add it we get as an observable right so how we can utilize this services let's check two component home component and app component so first we can see the home component in home component we have two buttons send data and clear data there is a two event which like send data and clear data event happen on the click of the respective buttons so let's see the ts file we have first we have inject the data sharing services and we have the two events send data and clear data we can see here the this dot data sharing services dot send data we passing the one string the send data from home component to app component okay so whenever we click it passing data to the send data and whenever we click it it's clear the services with the subject and using this observer so what we received on the app component let's check on the app component first html side in the app component we simple have the data for loop and we just print the message dot text whatever we come in there okay so let's check on the ts file in the ts file we have injected services data sharing services and app component constructor we have that this dot data services dot get data with the subscriber so whenever we have something on the push into the subject that time we our get data method with the subscriber we receive the data and we pushed into the array the data is any array okay so we are just pushing the response in the data array okay and at the last we have ng destroy the we has unsubscribed the subscription now we have the app modules in the app modules we have the app routing so app routing in the app routing we have defined that if the path is blank it's calling to the home component okay so hope now you get the idea how the data sharing services passing data from one component to other component let's check it again the example if i send the data it send data from home component to the app component so that means this part is in the our home component and the, whatever the data is print or message is print is part of the app component so it's communicating from two component using that data sharing services and with the observable and subject so hope you guys you understand the concept and you, un you understand the how we can sharing the data or communicating the component using this observable and subject hope you like this video please subscribe my channel if you are new into the channel please share the video and please like thank you